In our previous class, we had seen how to create partition tables in Oracle's database, wherein we had gone through the partitioning by range, list and hash. And also we had seen how we can create index organized partition tables. In this class, we are going to learn one more concept that is how to create table clusters or clustered tables. To give you a background on what are the cluster table looks like or the data whatever is stored in cluster table will look like is shown by this image by Oracle. Consider there are two kind of tables you have created in order to store their respective details. One table you have created to store the department details. A department can have its own name, a location, site and the department ID. And also you can have a employees who are working in that particular department and in other location also an employee can work not necessary in the location wherever that particular department is located. Now the employees can have their own set of metadata like the employee ID, employee's first name, last name, phone number, salary, so and so forth things. Those two tables data or in fact the table itself will be stored in different places in the Oracle's database. Now what if we want some technique wherein all the employees whoever are working in that particular department and itself the department details must be stored together like this if you see this entire section will be stored in the same place by Oracle okay and also the details can be queried from that particular space with the help of something called as cluster key which we will discuss shortly what it is and how we can know how to create this cluster key the syntax and the example. Now the department that is over here if you see the department number 20 and the 110. So those details and the employees whoever are working under the department will be stored together in the database. So this is in short how the clustered data or the clustered table data is all about. Now here there are few advantages and the disadvantages of using clustered tables. You can have a look. I will provide the link for this in the description. Here is the syntax provided by Oracle that is to create the table clusters and the index. It is not necessary to create the index but if you are creating an index then your queries will perform well and faster with the help of those indexes and it is not a necessary thing. Suppose if you are creating a cluster that is to store the employees and the department data together then you have to create cluster employees and department cluster. So the syntax will be create cluster is a clause then you have to provide the clusters name. Then you have to mention the column based on which you are knowing that the details must be stored together. Now a department table can have a department ID as one of the columns in their table definition and also the employees can have one of the columns in that table definition for the department ID. So whenever Oracle sees this department ID similar then it will club everything together the employees tables data and the department's data. So this is in short is nothing but a cluster key what we create that is the department ID in this case is a clustered key based on which it will identify the employee and the department's data and Oracle will place them together. Now if you want to create an index then you can create an index by using this clause that is create index followed by the name that is index m depth cluster. Then on cluster we have to say we are creating this index for this particular cluster what we have created. Now we are making the SQL perform faster. One is by making use of the cluster. IO operations will be limited in this case. Since we are using index over here, all the data will be stored in the particular fashion or in a index by Oracle. So that the queries will straight away go to that particular storage locations and fetch the details. It don't have to fetch the entire database in order to know where the details are being stored. So this will improve the performance significantly. Now coming to the create table clause. So whenever we create a table, we have to mention that we are creating this as a cluster table. Now when we write the create table employees or any table definition, we need to add this cluster clause at the end that is cluster. Then we have to mention the cluster name which we have created that is this one then followed by the clustered key. So this department ID will be one of the columns within this create table definition. Similarly, while creating a departments, it, we have to mention the same thing and department key will be a cluster key. So whenever you insert the records into those department and employee table based on the cluster key that is department ID it will store the employees and the departments table records in the same space over here and if you are creating the index all the memory locations will be known by Oracle. So whenever you run the query it will go to that particular index and fetch. Even if you do not use the index it will search the entire database with the help of this cluster key and it will fetch the details. 
So index is used in order to still improve the SQL performance over here. Now I have created few examples over here. Let me create one cluster. I am not going for creating the index over here. So let me just remove this previous class partition clause. Let, let me just run over here. So the statement has been processed. This is the message you will get. Next statement is we need to create the table. Now here if you see we are having a normal table statement that is create table and we are having this statement over here. At the end we are adding the clause that is cluster. We are providing the cluster name and the toy name. As I told this cluster key should be one among the columns over here. Suppose if you are having 10 columns then the cluster key what you mentioned while creating a cluster should be one among the columns in your table. Next I will write this create table statement over here. Let me run this. Yeah, our table has been created. Let me create one more table. Now you can consider this as a employee table and the department table. Let me create one more table with the cluster clause. So whenever a record is inserted in toys cluster tab and toys owner cluster tab based on the toy name it will store all the records of that particular table in the same location in the database. So this is the background behind the clustered tables. Now suppose if you want to know whether these are clustered tables or not as we verify in our previous classes we are going to make use of this select star from user tables. Now in the star I am having so many columns over here. Let me just run this. Sorry let me run entire statement. Now here if you see we have created this toys cluster tab and toys owner cluster tab. Now here if you see the cluster name will be mentioned over here as these are the cluster tables. These are based on this cluster that is toy cluster which we have created and this is the cluster key. So like this we can create the cluster tables in Oracle's database.